Now what we want to do is we want to make this block an interactive block, a dynamic block. And how do we do that? We go to block editor and then we click OK. And here, what we want to do is that we want this 1200 window to be able to fit in into any other dimension of windows made available on our plan. If it's 1500, if it's 1800, we want this window to be as interactive as possible to be able to fit into it by just minimum adjustment. In order to do that, we need to add a linear parameter so that we'll be able to move this, you know, increase the dimensions of this, increase the length or decrease the length. So if I want to do that, what I'll do is I have the linear parameter right here and I can choose this point to be my first point. I can also choose this point to be my, then I'll bring it down here. So now choosing that, I'll have to add an action to this parameter and the action I'll be adding to it is stretch action. Now what this does is that it helps me to be able to move my length back and forth. So I need to specify what parameter the stretch action is going to be acting upon and that's my distance. So I click this and here it pops up demanding me to pick my first point and second point. So I'm going to pick my point here. Then I also need to draw my stretch frame. And I want my stretch frame to be something like this. Yeah. So this is my stretch frame. And it hacks me to pick object. So I'm going to pick object. I'll select this object. I'll select this and I'll select this. Select this. I want this to remain static. So, so that I can always pull my object. So now I'll go and press enter. And we can go and test our blocks to see if what we have done is exactly what we intended to do. And when you click on this, you see that you have this stretch action button here. And if we pull this, you see, we can change this into a 600 mm window. We can also increase it to become a 1800 mm window. And you see, and you can turn it back to the 1200 window as it was initially. 